Okay folks, ever since smartphones were introduced during the late 2000s, the shape of smartphone has always remained the candy bar shape. To be honest, if you really look at today's various brands of smartphones shape, I would say that it's impossible for you to differentiate what kind of model it is. Luckily, we still have some brands that are still innovating the modern and futuristic smartphone design. Uh, a few companies are trying to revive the foldable phone design. And with me right now here is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Alright, look at this. This phone is an attempt by Samsung to show what lies ahead for modern future smartphone. And I'm about to give you my verdict on this smartphone. Firstly, let's go through the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip design. Alright, so first thing I think uh, the most important thing for a flip phone right now is the hinge. You see, to be honest, I felt this hinge is very, very sturdy. Look at that. It's sturdy enough. Alright, you don't have to worry because each time you flip it it just feels so good yes it feels so good the precision of it it just feels nice and Samsung engineer has really uh, plan, plan it properly for this hinge uh, if you want to know more about this uh, hinge technology I'll put a link in the description for you to learn it out more Okay, so over to the display design, alright, so Samsung has put in a 6.7 inches foldable dynamic AMOLED screen onto here, so it has an aspect ratio of uh, 22.9, alright, so it's really really wide, uh, it's good for playing uh, games like uh, first person shooter like those uh, COD Mobile, PUBG and also uh, viewing uh, multimedia content on uh, YouTube, Netflix as well. Yes, uh, the news you have heard that uh, this display it has a crease. Yes, you can actually feel it and you can notice it. But when you turn on the phone, all right, you don't really notice much anymore the crease part unless you are touching the area here for maybe i don't know maybe some of the apps sometimes you are browsing around but i would say generally you'll be rarely noticing it or care much about the crease part because when you buy this smartphone you will be most likely always uh, flipping close this smartphone so actually uh, samsung has added a uh, cover display all right it's actually a 1.1 uh, inch amulet display all right so basically what it does it shows you all the notifications if you can see if you swipe over here yeah you can see all the uh, notification icon here and you actually basically you can like uh, tap onto it to get the uh, notification all right uh, I do hope actually this uh, cover display to be much more larger because if you really see there's actually a large area here the spacing here I could you imagine if Samsung actually put a larger display screen here and you can uh, look a lot all your notification with a bigger screen it would be very very convenient but at the moment it's still usable Right, it's still usable it shows you the time date and the uh, battery status as well so for the speaker system of this uh, smartphone is you basically get a firing uh, bottom firing speaker down here all right not sure whether you can see it all right so you get only just this bottom firing speaker here and lastly you mainly get is this main switch button here along with this uh, volume 
adjustment buttons right so basically this uh, main switch button here it acts as your fingerprint reader and if you hold it long enough it will also act as your bixby button as well it will activate bixby the voice assistant search uh, by Samsung. All right, so we are going to check out the uh, display and audio of this uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. All right, so check it out. Let's go over to the specs of this uh, foldable phone. All right, so basically you only get only one spec for the Galaxy Z Flip. So you are getting a uh, Snapdragon 855 Plus, 8 gigabyte of RAM, and 256 gigabyte internal storage. That's all. You only get only one spec. Uh, the spec is quite similar to all the uh, 2019 flagship smartphone. So this means that it is still capable of uh, delivering good performance for work and uh, entertainment as well. There is four color variant to choose from. So basically what I have here is called the uh, mirror black. All right, this is one. The other one more is a uh, mirror purple. Uh, third one is a mirror gold. And the last one is a uh, tone brown edition. Juicing up this uh, foldable phone is a 3300mAh battery, okay, which comes with 15 watt fast charging and wireless charging. For battery life on this smartphone, it's basically down on your usage, okay, it really depends on your usage. So if you are using heavily, Let's say maybe you're shooting a lot of videos, doing a lot of uh, photo shoots, or perhaps you're gaming and watching a lot of uh, videos, uh, listen to a lot of the songs. Most likely, this phone will last you till uh, maybe the early evening, and then you really have to scramble for a uh, charger, a wall plug right now, okay? Out of the box, the Galaxy Z Flip sports Android 10 with One UI to over it, okay? Uh, one UI is still one of the best uh, Android skins, okay? It's really, really good, okay? And it's also easy to learn and operate smoothly. So anyone who hasn't used before the Samsung device and they want to try to use it, it's actually uh, very convenient for them, all right? So overall, the Galaxy Z Flip spec and software is really really solid gives it a thumbs up now let's talk a little bit uh, cameras of this uh, Galaxy Z Flip uh, for me I think that the cameras on this device okay is really one of the main key features okay now let's go over to the front camera front facing camera first all right so it's a punch hole here right in the middle it's a 10 megapixel uh, sensor which could do a very amazing job of uh, taking a lot of nice photo and uh, nice videos so it could record videos of uh, up to 4k 60 frames per second amazing device to do a lot of vlogging so we are going to check out the uh, pictures and the video qualities now Okay guys, uh, so this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. This is the front facing camera right now I'm using. How's the visual and the audio quality currently is shooting at uh, 4K 30 frames per second. Alright, basically for me, uh, it looks cool. Very nice, very nice detail. Alright. As for the rear cameras, all right, it's a dual camera setup, all right. So the main camera is a uh, 12 megapixel, all right, 
So the secondary camera is a wide angle lens, also sporting with a uh, 12 megapixel as well. Okay, uh, rear camera is again can deliver crisp images, very vivid, very nice, and uh, solid 4K 60 frames per second video as well. But that is only for the main camera, alright. The wide angle lens couldn't do a 4K 60 frames per second. It could only do up until uh, 4K 30 frames per second. So if you want to switch lens during your recording, make sure to set it to uh, 4K 30 frames per second. All right. So right now we are going to check the images and the video quality. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, so this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip uh, real camera. Alright, so currently it's shooting at uh, 4K 30 frames per second. Alright, so how is the audio and the visual quality? Alright, I will try to switch now to the wide angle lens. Alright, yeah, so you can see 4K 30 fps, you still can switch your camera to the uh, wide angle lens. Alright. Overall, I find the cameras are actually really suit for content creators and people who love to post a lot of their contents to social medias, alright? Whether you are taking pictures or videos, uh, the camera really never disappoint you and is capable of delivering a lot of uh, best result. If I were to solely rate on the camera performance for content creators, I will give it a uh, 4 out of 5 uh, but I would prefer to see uh, Samsung to add a uh, telephoto lens onto it and if they really do add it I think the camera section I would definitely give it a full mark 5 out of 5 now let's come to the verdict time yes it's hard to deny that the Galaxy Z Flip shows us what future smartphone would become for me if this what future smartphone looks like I'm so lit alright however there are few things I would like to see this phone to improve in the uh, next generation uh, like a larger cover display a bigger battery a stereo speaker setup and perhaps a uh, telephoto lens added into it so if you really ask me one major downside from uh, this galaxy Z flip i would say the price just in malaysia this thing already costing uh, 5888 ringgit malaysia which i believe that you can even get other brand uh, smartphone which is cost much cheaper which perform the same or even perhaps better I even think that you can even get the Galaxy S20 which also perform much better than this and is much uh, cheaper as well. But you have to think, if you really want a phone that in 2020 that stands out, that performs well as well, then I will have to say you need to get the Galaxy Z Flip, right? Because Flip takes nice picture, everything works well, okay? So basically, that's my verdict for this uh, Galaxy Z Flip. Alright, so to wrap things up, uh, 
This video was made possible by uh, Samsung Malaysia for loaning a uh, sample review unit but I do not uh, do any paid review okay so Samsung Malaysia will be watching the first time together with you the audience alright there will be no given uh, copy approval rights or preview of this video before release alright so if you guys really enjoy this uh, kind of content please do subscribe and give a thumbs up on the video alright see you guys on the next video